Okay, welcome. So today I want to offer some reflections about what is complex trauma. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be drawing quite a lot from the work of Annabel Gonzalez, PhD, uh, who's a psychiatrist, um, and also speaking a little bit about Nick Duffel's work and Judith Herman's work. So, enjoy. So, uh, on Monday, I was speaking to uh, Annabel Gonzalez, who is a Spanish uh, psychiatrist who is a specialist in complex trauma, dissociation, um, and also attachment. And she's written this book. And, and as I was reading it, I could really see a lot of the work that I uh, do myself around boarding school syndrome and boarding school survivors. So I wanted to talk a little bit about you know, the idea of trauma and then complex trauma. So in the conversation I had, which will go live to, on Friday, I'll put a link in the description um, to the podcast. She says that often people come to her and they, she says, oh, um, they say, I, I want to do six sessions of EMDR. So she's the president of the Spanish EMDR Association. And she said, I only, only, only want to do six sessions. That'll be fine. She says, as soon as someone asks that, she says, immediately, I know they have complex trauma. And as she describes, there's so many layers to it. And I often see this in my own work, is that in complex trauma, especially boarding school, we're looking for the quick fix. But actually, as Judith Herman talks about in her book here, you know, it's a lifelong path. Yes, we can get so much better, we can really heal, but it's an ongoing journey. And we have to really understand that. So I'm going to read out a little bit. This is from page four of her book. She says, the consequences of natural disasters or accidents can be severe, but the traumas of the interpersonal type are more harmful and produce more profound disorders in the identity and beliefs of the individual. These severe interpersonal traumas can occur in the early stages of development or that are brought about by intimate relationships give rise to clinical pictures which have been included in the, the concept of complex trauma. Although the term complex trauma did not exist as a diagnosis in the international classifications, many authors dis previously described how these types of experiences may affect us. In fact, in this, it is this contradiction between a reality that hurts us and our tendency to retort resort to others that we find most difficult to assimilate. Some authors propose that the central element of trauma is the betrayal by those whom we trust. So I think that's really important, you know, trauma, because Nick Duffel says not everyone is traumatized by boarding school, but everyone is, um, it has to survive boarding school. And then I was thinking Alex Renton, when he first published his article in the Observer, I think it was 2014, possibly 2015. He says in his book, Sad Little Men, that out of 800 people who contacted him after that article went live, only 11 were actually positive, saying, I loved boarding school. All 789, the others were all negative. So that's only 1%. So really, you know, this idea that some authors propose that the central element of trauma is the betrayal by those whom we trust. And I often hear that we're told at school, boarding school, or, you know, it will be good for you. But actually, when we get there, it's very different. So we almost feel betrayed there. Um, she also references in that book, um, Trauma and Recovery, um, by Judith Herman, who's also a psychiatrist, and she talks about complex PTSD. Um, and she says the new diagnosis is basically the first thing, she says, is a history of subjection to totalitarian control over a prolonged period, months to years. So in the work of Richard Beard, he talks about Irving Hoff. Um, Irving Goffman, who talks about this idea of uh, a total institution, he says in that psychiatrist's work or psychologist's work, 
he says that boarding school is this total institution. Uh, very much Irvin Goffman was working in mental uh, institutions, mental hospitals in the 60s and 70s, and he came up with this. So this complex post-traumatic disorder, stress disorder, the first thing is a history of subjection to, to totalitarian control over a prolong prolonged period of time, so months to years. So for me, it was seven years that I was at school. And for others, I know 10 years, others even longer than that. Um, there's uh, quite a few different um, things she talks about, you know, seven different areas, really. Um, and then finally, you know, complex trauma. Here, um, Nick Duffel and his work, he's just saying the idea that at the time of writing, PTSD, personality disorder or complex trauma are all contenders for uh, boarding school survivors. Um, the most pro promising label, however, seems to be developmental trauma, a term adopted by some practitioners within a recently emerging field of study that combines insights of psychotherapy with research data of neuroscience. The developmental problem of boarding is central. First, since traumatic symptoms are usually initially hidden by the need for boarding children to survive, the socially accepted abandonment to the institutions by parents, which kicks off the trauma. And second, because of the gradual development of the effects, which then become chronic over time. So, yeah, just some ideas there really about complex trauma. You know, what is it? So it's not just one event which happened. It's something which has happened over time, over a period of months or years. So it's not just... You know, a, for example, PTSD is one bomb going off. And that's what um, Judith Herman's talking about. It's not just one event. It's gone again and again and again. Um, and listening to a, a talk about boarding school, someone was saying that I think he left home or left school, you know, went to back to school 132 times. So this is complex trauma. It's like the separation, the tears. Um, and I noticed this myself on Sunday. I'd been on holiday for a week. And then I was starting doing some podcasts on Monday. I could feel this fear. It's like, oh yeah, it's the going back to school feeling that so many ex-boarders have. Um, we call it like the holiday blues. It's like, oh, and I, I really felt that on uh, on Sunday. Um, yeah, so that's just some ideas. I hope it, it clarifies what complex trauma is. It's not just one event. It's events which happen over time, whether you could call it complex PTSD, um, as Pete Walker does in his book, um, or complex trauma. But this idea that, ah, boarding school, what is complex trauma? So I hope that's been of help. And yeah, any questions, please do let me know.